Hi everybody, it's Ray here again with another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this beautiful new 2019 and a half Forest River Riverstone 39 RLW. This is a brand new floor plan for the Forest River Riverstone lineup. We're going to take a few minutes and check out the inside and then the outside of this coach. Uh, looking straight ahead here, we have a two-person dinette. The table does extend giving you a leaf that you can put in there and there's two folding chairs underneath the bed storage area right now so you could sit four people here if you wanted to but it's really meant for two traditional chairs for the couple this is a couple's coach so you have one bedroom traditional rear living room style it's going to have a really nice uh, area in the bedroom with a new windshield in the front we'll show you when we get in there all led lights throughout the coach uh, the Riverstone is their highest lineup for the Forest River campers. So you're going to find some higher quality construction build here, along with higher quality features for the full-time RVer. Um, infinity light up top above the island, your traditional uh, four-blade ceiling fan over there. All ducted air. These are the better Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning Systems. This particular unit was ordered with three ACs in the camper. Theater seating over there has heat and massage power, so you just push a button to recline. They have storage in the theater seat area. Um, some of the lights and stuff on the camper are also on dimmer switches, so some of your overhead ceiling lights will dim. The big sofa in the back is freestanding, so if you ever needed to replace it, along with the theater seat being freestanding too, you could replace them in the future. Uh, that the that big couch in the back though is a bed, so you could sleep two people on that if you have guests visit you. The unit comes standard with frameless dual pane glass windows, which gives you a better insulation property, along with sound deadening property, and less moisture condensation issues when camping in cold weather. That's important again for those full time RVers. Big overhead cabinets up above that sofa there. Another nice feature here is the woodworking, again, solid surface, stained hardwood. But they also did it on your valances here instead of having a cloth material. And then you got a glass insert here. So a little more expensive, a little richer looking to me anyway on the uh, window valances there. Nice decorative lighting over the uh, sofa area. You have an electric outlet on both sides of the sofa in the walls there. Big electric fireplace, got the widescreen electric fireplace. Those are basically just fancy space heaters, but they are electric. You have a DVD, CD stereo system right there. Sound bar, Sony, big flat screen TV. Couple drawers on each side of the radio there. Good size pantry area here. This pantry... Um, has the soft close door hinges on it. You got recessed door hinges, but they are also the soft close so they don't slam and smack real hard. Magnetic catches instead of plastic roller catches. Now down below on the bottom part of the pantry, you have pull out drawers here. There are three of them. Little wine cooler down there next to the uh, oven down there. Drawer up above, full extending, ball bearing drawer guides. Soft closed drawers. The Furion oven's a great feature. It's a larger feature oven compared to the traditional older RV ovens. Has the glass door front. It's a double glass front. It is more accurate with cooking. Also has an auto light feature, so you don't have to use a match to light it. There is a uh, light built into the oven. When I turn this on here, it kind of lights up. You can see the temperature thing over there. Up above, you have a three-burner gas stovetop. This is one of two features you could do the gas or you can do the induction there's an option for the induction 
and you also do not have to do the gas oven if you don't like cooking with those ovens you can get just storage there so you don't have to get that gas oven large convection microwave overhead cabinetry there you have a large 20 cubic foot residential refrigerator with an inverter system basically freezer on bottom with an ice maker built in and refrigerator on top this is a Samsung refrigerator and Samsung convection microwave the refrigerator supposedly has a 10-year warranty according to Samsung there and you can kind of see the freezer part down here there's a double drawer system there A lot of room to walk around the island area so if you are having a cook and people still come in and out of here you've got plenty of room to maneuver the coach the solid surface countertops have matching sink covers you have a 60 40 stainless sink and it is an undermount so it's less likely to have any water damage here you have some storage underneath but I also put one of the sink covers in there so you can see there is a little slot there to stash those sink covers. Up above that you have a little holder for your sponges there. And then over on the right is your trash can drawer there. This one has the dishwasher feature. This is a slide out dishwasher here. Stainless front. Now, if you don't like the dishwasher feature, you don't have to get that. You can get more drawer space. This drawer right here above the dishwasher. This is uh, removable, but it's got a little built-in divider there for your silverware and stuff. They do offer a wood-looking floor, so you have a choice of floors when ordering the Cedar Creek. Or, I'm sorry, the Riverstone. Looking back toward the front of the coach, you have your washer-dryer feature right here. Stackable washer-dryer here. The Splendid 110-volt electric dryer and washer. It is vented out the side of the coach. There is a compartment up above kind of need a step stool at least I do uh, to get to that area but it would be a good spot to kind of stash some of your laundry equipment up there over here on the left we'll get this opened up here so you can kind of see here but you have a lot of storage here you can use that for storage or coat closet whatever you want on the lower side of things there and then you have shelving in the top section there Down below is your electric box with your breakers and fuses right there and a propane leak detector. Here you can see the Furion Vision S. Uh, this is a 7 inch backup camera slash security camera system. I ordered on this particular coach. It has four cameras on it. That is an option. You can get just the observation camera itself or you can do the four camera system. So this unit here has cameras on both sides, one above the entry door and one on the back end of the coach. Also be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in checking out my new videos. I'm always trying to update some of these videos on our campers that are coming in. Right here you've got wood steps going up through the coach and below there is your central vac. It has a place to hook up a hose and then it has a dustpan vac that you just step on and sweep it in with a broom. There's a drawer right there so you've got again extra storage kind of hidden right there. Nice metal grab handle going up the uh, step area there.
looking up the hallway area here. You do have a window in the hallway. The windows do open there. Three air conditioners was ordered again on this particular coach. Comes standard with two, third is an option. But they are multi-zone, one thermostat, controls all three. You can set all three for completely different temperatures if you want. But being that the main two downstairs uh, are in one big open room, it wouldn't do a whole lot for those two. But you could actually close the door on the bedroom up here and kind of make the bedroom colder or warmer a little bit easier if you wanted. Right here is some of your control panels going up the hallway. So you have the uh, Lippert LCI control here where you can control your jacks, lighting, monitoring panels, slides, uh, awnings, landing gear, all that type of stuff here. Controls for your on-demand water heater. Battery system here, one of the slide buttons here. Uh, this is for the bedroom slide out on the uh, closet area, TV area here, because that is an electric room instead of hydraulic like the other rooms. Uh, ordered with generator prep, so it does have the wiring here. You can see some more electric control there. Nice window framework. The Riverstone has a three inch, three and a quarter inch thick sidewall, which is about an inch and a quarter than most high end fifth walls, inch and a quarter thicker. Most only have a two inch wall. A handful of the lighter weight styles will do an inch and a half wall, but you have anywhere from an inch and a quarter to another two inches thicker wall compared to some other RVs. More insulation due to that thickness two types of insulation. They use a foam and a wool batten insulation in the camper. Bathroom on this model. You have solid surface countertop, three drawers, some spacing there under the cabinet, a uh, lighted toe kick area there, backlit mirror. There's also a turbo exhaust fan up in here, which is thermostat controlled. And that does really well for exhausting out shower moisture. Little cabinet area there. Your toilet paper holders, towel holders, all that stuff's included. Porcelain foot flush toilet. It's the oblong shaped toilet, so a little bit nicer toilet there. One piece fiberglass shower triple sliding glass door has the seat in it also you have the uh, little bit larger shower head there so it's a little bit uh, better spraying compared to some of the lower price models we're going forward into the bedroom area here we have carpet in the bedroom this is a stain resistant carpet here Two slide outs in this bedroom. This one here on the left, we'll try and pan up here a little bit. Let's go on into here. This one has the fireplace, TV, some cabinetry, drawers, hanging space, all done right here. So we've got a nice big flat screen TV there. Hanging closet on both sides of that TV. Four drawers built in. Again, electric fireplace. But one thing that you don't quite catch unless you know what you're looking for, the TV flips up. And that gives you more storage space in behind there. So that's great to throw some of your other types of clothes. If you need drawer space or whatever, you can put more stuff back in there or stash your movies, you know, put a little safe back there, whatever you want to do. But just uh, trying to give you some more storage space for all your items looking toward the front of the coach you have again another hanging closet on the left three drawers on the left down below and then two bigger drawers on the right section there but you got a nice lounge area up here in your bedroom so if you wanted to come up and watch TV while somebody else is downstairs watching TV, you guys can watch separate things and not have to just sit on the bed. Windshield looking out over the front of the coach has the day-night roller shades blocking off the light from there too. A 
electric outlets and USB chargers on both sides of the bed. Windows on both sides of the bed do open. Nice headboard. This was ordered with the uh, king size bed. You can do a queen if you prefer. The queen is about five inches narrower on each side. So you do pick up a little bit of walk space, but there's quite a bit of room in this bedroom without having to go to the queen. And just kind of walking over here to the other side so you can kind of see. Um, up here in the left corner is also some solar panel information here. This is the control panel uh, for solar. The unit, I ordered it pre-wired for three solar panels, but we put one on it as part of the electronic solar panel system. Um, so you have a 160 watt solar panel on this particular one. You can do two more if you wanted to. Uh, but that is the controls that kind of tell you what your solar panels are doing. We'll peek in behind one of these closets here real quick just to kind of give you a little idea of the depth. Now, there is a light up here also. So you have lighted closet area, hanging bar. Again, the soft close cabinet doors there. So they take their time closing. They're not banging and clanging real hard. Nice heavy wood sliding pocket door there to slide over across and block out your hallway. Again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in checking out more of my videos. My name's Ray. If you're interested in purchasing one of these campers, please feel free to give me a call. We are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. I'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Uh, Toll-free number for me is 888-417-8299, extension 203. And we're going to take a few minutes and head to the outside of this beautiful coach and let you check out the outside exterior now. All right, we are on the outside now of this new Riverstone 39 RLW. We're going to take a few minutes, run you around the outside of this thing. Um, before I get started too much here, I wanted to say this is the standard exterior. And they have an option for paint jobs on Riverstone. I'm going to spin around here real quick. This one right over here is the Crimson Knight paint job on that Riverstone. That is a pretty pricey paint job on the RV. But you can get a Riverstone standard exterior or painted on the uh, RV. So that's something to consider when ordering one of these high-end fifth wheels. Uh, back to this particular one here, 39 RLW. This has a really nice rear fiberglass cap on the camper. And you have LED taillights and running lights. Also have LED backup lights. I always mention these because a lot of fifth wheels don't have reverse lights. And this rear end of this camper is 35 feet away from your truck. You're backing into a campsite at nighttime. It is really nice to have those backup lights. Also, this unit, again, was ordered with the camera system. You can do no cameras at all. You can do just a backup camera slash observation camera because it does work while you're driving down the road. Or you can do the four camera system, which I did on this coach. So you have a backup slash observation on the rear. I have two pointing down the sides of the coach, one on each side. And I have a fourth one over top of the entry door pointing down. So if I wanted to watch from inside, I could. They sell a little electric adapter you can plug into that monitor, sold separately. Uh, for some reason, it does not come with it standard from Furion. But uh, that little electric plug you can get, plug it in, set it inside the camper, use it as a uh, monitor system from inside. But beautiful rear end on the coach. Has a quarter inch or an inch and a quarter bike rack hitch receiver back here. Um, again, frameless dual pane glass windows. On the lower left hand side here, I got the power cord kind of cheated, just yanking it out the big door, but uh, it is a powered power cord reel. So you push a button, roll it up if you want. 
You can also flip the door down and put the cord through the hole and run it out that way, but I just left it up. That door is on a magnetic catch instead of a plastic catch. This unit was ordered with the slide out awning toppers. You don't have to get them if you don't like them, but they are a great feature. Helps shade the room, also helps repel a lot of water. So nice feature there. The slide outs, three of them are hydraulic. So you've got a hydraulic slides on the downstairs slides, hydraulic slide on the bed slide, an electric slide on the closet slide. Down below here, you can see we have the ice maker drain slash on off. So if you're cold winter camping, it's best if it's really, really cold outside to shut off the ice maker just to help keep that from having an issue. Um, you have the spare tire underneath of here. You can see finished off sectionalized underbelly down here. This is really good and important for maintenance purposes. These come apart in sections, so it's easier for service to work on it. A lot of brands have a one-piece underbelly front to back. That is pretty hard for an RV dealer to take it all apart and get underneath of anything. And at the high rate of service costs, um, most dealerships are getting $125, $130 an hour to work on a camper. Anything they can do to kind of help shorten those time frames is a saving in your pocket. You have the stove exhaust up there. Riverstone comes standard with the six-point hydraulic auto level system. The hydraulic is an emphasis there. That is a stronger, heavier-duty system than the cheaper electric system that's out there. Electric system does okay, but this is stronger, a little more accurate, and also, if you really needed to or wanted to, you can pick the whole coach up off the ground. They don't recommend you do it, but I've honestly done it personally. Um, you know, it can be picked up and, you know, kind of done a little bit stronger that you can't do things like that with the electric system. Tires on the coach, you have eight lug wheels. Uh, these are 17 and a half inch H-rated tires. On the standard Riverstone, you get Westlake tires. You can upgrade to Goodyear's as part of the Traveler package, or you can just flat out upgrade when ordering from Westlake to Goodyear tires. They are very, very similar, almost the same thing. You're just kind of, in my opinion, paying more for the name on the Goodyear tire. But, uh, you know, your choice, your preference, you're paying for it. You have the dump area right here in front of the tires. There's a dump hose holder there and the outlet right there. Now, the handles are actually up in the docking station. So all you got to do is reach down there, hook up your hose, throw it down in the hole, and go up to the docking station and actually pull your handles. So you don't have to crawl underneath the slides or anything to do any of that stuff. Security light over here on this side. Furnace exhaust. The on-demand water heater is right there. Now this is in for service right now. They are uh, getting it prepped and ready to go out on the lot for sale. So this, you'll see a few things kind of being worked on here. Uh, midship turn signals, huge bonus on the Riverstone for this. This puts a turn signal on the side of the coach, making the people beside you be able to see that you're trying to get over. That is a nice safety feature there. Docking station area here. Up top, you can see the green lights there. That is your uh, inverter system for the refrigerator, a couple of the electric outlets in the coach. Outside uh, hot water, I'm sorry, outside uh, shower here, hot and cold water, you have a light in here. Again, motion light, and you can leave it on or off, however you want to do it, but it does have a motion sensor too if you want to put it in that mode. Bypasses, valves, all your stuff here for winterization, battery disconnect, cable, satellite hookups, all that stuff right there. Nice slam lock baggage doors. Huge storage compartment here across the front. The door on the other side is much bigger, but uh, we'll kind of show you that when we get around to that side. Now, they have a little trap door here in the floor, and your hydraulic reservoir is right down here. So it's kind of hidden out of the way. That just folds down, 
you got your storage space back controls for the uh, front jacks are right up there and the light switch for the front cap lights is right there over to the left of the compartment is a battery tray section and you have two trays will hold four batteries right here again slam lock baggage door it is lockable some spec information you'll find these stickers on all new campers usually right here in the driver's side but this will tell you when the camper was built this particular camper was built 12 19 of 2018 vin numbers axles two eight thousand pound axles tire size 215 75 r 17.5 h rated tires Tire pressures, all that type of stuff is right here. That's what you'll see on all your stickers there. Back up a little bit here so you can see the coach a little bit better. This was ordered with the generator prep. So in that compartment down there is your generator area if you wanted to put a generator in it. It was also ordered with the trail air hitch pin gives you a shock slash airbag on there for a nicer ride. I'm going to zoom in here for a second on the side camera. This is what it looks like, so you can kind of see that. But that camera points down, one on each side. Again, the front had that window. It's a little hard to see here in a garage. I don't have much room on the front of this thing. But you have LED lights running one down each side of the window area there. But you got a windshield on the front. Let's see if we can get over here to this side, show you a little more. Two 30-pound propane tanks, standard on the standard Riverstone. You could option up the 40s if uh, you wanted to. They will do that for us. We've had them do that before for a small charge. Down below there is a gas hookup for a portable grill or something if you wanted to grill out. There's a gas hookup there. The other side of the storage compartment... Nice gas struts holding up the door. Looking back in here, you can see you have your central vac. So you could use the central vac right here to vacuum out the storage compartment. You have an electric outlet and a light switch up there. Um, while we're zooming in here, look at the thickness here. Three and a quarter inch thick sidewall. So better insulation property. Again, two types of insulation in there. Thicker walls, better sound barrier. Outdoor speakers. If you want to listen to the radio outside, you can. There's an electric outlet below that midship turn signal right there. The unit has two awnings on it. You have a awning that goes in between these slides covering the door area here. And then you have a second awning on the side of the slide out, which that second awning is about 12 feet long. And that comes out. So you have two piece, two awnings basically kind of covering most of the coach over here. Upgraded more ride step. These steps are really nice. It's easier to get in and out of the coach. You got four steps instead of three comes down, touches the ground, it's stronger, holds more weight, doesn't shake the coach as bad when you're going in and out like the old traditional step. Also, the Riverstone step has a little upgraded shock on it. So when you flip that step up, it kind of helps hold itself up. So that is a nice feature on this particular coach here, having that extra shock. 
so you're not having to pick up the full weight of the step itself. It's not real heavy, but still it's nice to have. Large folding entry handle. You have the camera up above the door plus a light up there. And we'll flip this screen door open here. Um, all campers pretty much have a screen door. But these are a little unique to the fact that they have a little insert here to help keep the heat and air in. You can pop those inserts out and just have your screen here. But having these little inserts is kind of nice. On the side of the coach, we have a TV area right there. And there's a little sound bar thing in there, too. And the TV will swing out if you want it to. Pan up the slide there. You can kind of see how that looks. Nice big windows. Clean-looking windows, too, as far as the frameless look to them. It's really nice. Again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in checking out more of my videos. Or if you're interested in purchasing one of these Riverstones or any of my other beautiful fifth wheels, I will be glad to help you out. My name is Ray. CouchesRVNation.com is our website. Toll-free number to me is 888-417-8299, extension 203. Thanks for checking out my campers.